before we have our salute to the flag tonight, I'd like to have a, a moment of silence for all the people that lost their lives uh, September 11th, 2001. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll have a roll call of members. Mayor Moore. Here. Trustee Trombley. Here. Trustee Martin. Here. Trustee Southwick. Here. Trustee Garrett. Here. Okay, we'll now entertain a motion to approve minutes of the previous meeting. Make a motion. A second. Second. <laughs> Sorry. Is there any discussion or corrections? Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes of the last meeting say aye. 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 All opposed? I'm going to abstain, please. It wasn't here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to thank Don for getting the newer streamlined minutes, so they're much more readable. Uh, now a presentation of petitions, communications, notices, and general question period for members of the community. There's no one here. Uh, so we'll proceed with support of Mike Tatro. Um, sent a few letters out the past month or so. Um, Mrs. Weirs was one of them. Had her, she had appearance tickets. She showed up in court, got uh, two weeks of postponement. She has cut some of the grass, some of the brush, but I still think there's a lot more needs to be done around the other buildings. I don't know what she's going to do about feeding of the animals out there. The judge did talk to her about it, but it hasn't uh, come back to court for a final decision on that. Um, I also sent a letter to a Wendy Davies on Butternut Street, and a Roberta Davies responded back. She told me she's going to get rid of the two vehicles, and it's been an unusually wet summer, so she hasn't been able to cut the grass. So she asked for two more weeks, and I went by there today, and she has started. Vehicles are still there, but there's some progress. Um, the other, last week, we had a fire down by the dry cleaners at property before that and this is a, a Claude Rabo who owns this property and I've been after him since spring there's some old furniture back there this stuff was all piled up well, apparently someone set it on fire the fire department came and put it out but the, the greater problem with that is there's some dead animals in that pile mm -hmm. now I've been through this in Rouse's Point you can call the sheriff's department you can call the health department but nobody will do anything they all say come back to the village and you know if the village wants to hire somebody to pick it up or they want to pick it up and assess it on their taxes they can do that but it's pretty bad out there and I kind of think that it's a, a health hazard at the very least so once you know that uh, the building over here by the bridge uh, Patterson's building I sent him a letter I believe y'all got copies of it I deemed that an unsafe building because of the roof I believe is in collapse he happened to come to see me on another issue the day we sent the letter out to him. So I explained to him that I had sent a letter out. He wasn't very happy, but he claims that the pigeons aren't a result of the holes in his building, that they're just roosting there. And he wouldn't let me in the building to check the roof out, but he did send a letter today. Juanita well, just gave it to me here. He said that he's hired a contractor, but the guy backed out. At the end of the day, he says that uh, the proposed work should be completed within 60 days. So that's up to the board, but I would like to see we wait 60 days, see if he fixes this up before we take any legal action. But that's your decision. So you're going to go with it, Mike? Well, he needs to fix that roof so that it, it, it's not collapsing. Now, he claims it's not collapsing. He's got to let me in there. And if I feel that it's collapsing and he doesn't believe me, we can get the, the village engineer to look at it with me at the same time or separately and give an opinion to the board as to the state of the building. He, he claims it's just a natural bend in the roof. Well, I think it's a little more than that. 
But at the very least, he, he needs to fix the <coughs> holes. I, I mean, I think the pigeon problem is probably the greater issue here. We gotta get rid of these damn pigeons around here. Um, main knitting, that big expansion in the industrial park, that was completed today. I did the final inspection. And uh, I guess, uh, well, Greg Fleming called me from Horizon Heights. Apparently, he wants a meeting. <coughs> Wednesday, 3 30. Wednesday. Um, I didn't listen to a whole lot of it because I've, I've listened to him many, many times. And basically, he wants me to, to issue a building permit so he can build a house up there. He's, in, in speaking with him, we've discussed the stormwater issue many, many times on two separate occasions, two months apart. Of, of, either meeting we've met up there with his engineers and Dean Lashway and all, all the people and he was supposed to put a proposal together and come back to the planning board. This has never materialized. Now he's calling for another meeting he wants to build a house. I don't know that I can not give him a permit to build the house based on the, the way that the, the, instead of a bond the village took a mortgage on the property. The only power I have is in issuing a CO at the end of the project if the, the road isn't done, if the stormwater isn't completed. But I kind of think that's after the fact. You know, once the house is built, how, how are you going to tell somebody? I mean, you can do it, but it's... I think we need to take a position here that either he comes back to the planning board and abides by the, the rules that and the regulations as they were done when we did this before he builds anything. Other than that, I think that's about all I have. Well, the Living Water Church, I guess they resolved their sewer issues and they're going to be looking for a CO here in the next month or so. So, pretty nice building inside there. Beautiful. Yeah. That's it. Great job. Which property was it that had the uh, dead animals on it? That's uh, it's on this side of the uh, dry cleaners here. Of the address. All I have is the mailing address here. Well, it's 1195 Route 9 in the village of Champlain. Now, in going back to that, other than the dead animals, we've tried twice to send him registered letters. <coughs> he has a, a New York address here, P.O. Box, but he lives in Canada. And he doesn't respond to any of his mail that we sent certified. He doesn't pick it up. So there is a procedure in, in the book here where I can post this on his wall send him certified and first class mail and also issue appearance tickets. Once the appearance tickets are issued, if he doesn't show up, they can issue a bench warrant to have him picked up. I mean, I don't know any other way of getting a hold of this guy and I've talked to the people around there and apparently he doesn't want to be talked to, so. That, that, I would do that last uh, yeah. Okay, well, well, I, I think I should under new business on that. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Thanks, Mickey. It looks like you've been pretty busy, and we appreciate it. <coughs> well, we're getting caught up in a few things, so I'm trying to clean up here a little bit if we can. Have lots of problems with absentee landlords, old buildings. Well, I just want to let you know, and I, I speak on behalf of the board. Uh, that's the direction that we want to go, and we, we appreciate that. Is there any questions for Mike on his report? Do you have to go to court on these appearance tickets? Do you have to go? I don't have to. Sometimes I ask the judge. Uh, I have to do an information and complaint, and that's generally all the information, all the background on, on you know what the issue is, and then he usually does what he does. I can go, but he's never asked me to go. I was just wondering if the conversation could be steered, you know, in terms of the animals. And, uh, well. I think that by the time this goes to court, this is going to really, you know, it was pretty bad last week when the fire department was there. So mm -hmm. the joke is one thing, but the other issue, that's something else. Yeah, thanks, Mickey. Mm -hmm. We're have the mayor's report. <coughs> We were turned down in uh, round one of shared services grant, uh, as we know, and uh, we're going to try applying for round two. Uh, Donna has gotten uh, some information from some of the successful uh, applicants, and we want to see if maybe we can improve on our application for this next round. 
I know we'll be working with the uh, Shared Services Group to try and do this again. I, I, from what I understand, there's a lot more money available the second time around, so uh, hopefully we'll be successful this time. Uh, we are, we have put our name in for sources of funding for upgrades at the uh, wastewater treatment plant and for the water system. Uh, we have our names in, we don't have, we're not bound to do anything here, but we are starting the process because it is a lengthy process. And we just, you don't know what you can get until we get into it, so we're continuing to pursue that. The hydrant flushing will take place the week of September 25th through 29th. And the village pickup days will be October 10th and 23rd. Uh, I'm going to be bringing up under uh, new business. Uh, we originally moved our November meeting uh, back because we thought was it uh, Veterans Day, was it? Mm -hmm. That was on, uh, we were going to get that Monday off, but it, now it turns out that it's on a Friday, so we can still meet the 13th. So we bring that up under new business. Uh, also, we bring up under new business uh, Merwin Rural Services uh, Conference in, in uh, Potsdam. Several people have expressed an interest in going to this. It has uh, several different conferences that uh, apply to just about everybody in municipal uh, government, so we're going to be trying to send some people to that. And uh, just to say that Kimberly LeMay and Celine Paquette have done an Images of America book, 200 photos on Champlain for $20 a, co a copy from Arcadia Publishing. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to get one for sure. And I think we'll uh, bring it up in our new business to get a, a copy for the village for our archives. Does anybody have any questions on my report? Uh, if not, we'll proceed to uh, Trustee Trombley's report. Um, I was approached by uh, Fire Chief Chris Trombley this past week um, just to uh, remind the public that there is no burning in the village of any kind, not uh, burn barrels or nice little fireplaces or anything like that. They've had uh, some instances recently where they've been called out, so he just wanted me to uh, remind the public on that. And also, I was approached by a town resident, um, and I spoke with Woody on this, about water on the road on uh, Locust Street, Paris Mills Road, um, I took a ride up there tonight, and there is a considerable amount of water over the road. Um, and I know you said that the <coughs> town is working on that. Yes. So there is a town issue. Okay. Um, um, that's it. Thanks. Are there any questions for Ken? Now we'll proceed with Trustee Martin's report. I uh, attended the shared services meeting last Thursday. Uh, topic of discussion was the denied. Uh, grant that we worked on and our intentions looking forward to the uh, to the next grant application. Uh, some interesting, I think some interesting uh, suggestions were made. Also, uh, trying to get a hold of our representatives at the Department of State to try to get our old grant application returned to us with some notations, I hope, that will help guide us into uh, that will help guide us in making a better grant presentation at the next round. Uh, so far, that has been fallen on deaf ears. Other than that, that's uh, that's all. Any questions for Greg? All right, I have the floor to Trustee Southwood. Just want to say, Woody and guys, uh, good job on Spruce Street so far. It's coming along good. Well, it's been a slow process, but a lot more work there than what we thought when we started. So I'm, I'm happy if that means anything. Good job, guys. <laughs> also, Appreciate also the help of the town of Champlain and the town of Altona on that. I know it's mentioned in correspondence, but uh, it's, a, it's a good sign when we can get together with other municipalities to effectively utilize equipment that we may not have in manpower as well. Hopefully we can return the favor as well. Thank you. Any questions for Steve? 
uh, uh, Trustee Garrett's report. Okay, I got lots, sorry. Um, busy month for parks and recreation. Uh, we are going to have our little um, village to do da uh, coming up here. I forget what we're calling it. Um, I don't think we've come up with a name yet. We're going to decide it tomorrow. It's just going to be a village fest or whatever. <coughs> uh, it's going to be September 30th, Saturday from 11 to 3. Uh, we will be hand delivering flyers to every resident in the village of Champlain. Uh, anybody in the town, anybody's welcome to come, but we're going to make sure we get all of our uh, residents. We're going to start the event off with a bike decorating contest. So the kids will arrive and we're going to do a bike parade and we're going to go down Main Street, up Church, down Pine, and back down Main to end up at the park. So that'll kick us off at 11 o'clock. Um, kind of, you know, get everybody in the family involved with that. Uh, originally, we were going to have kayak uh, races, uh, but the group wants to get it very involved, uh, so there wasn't enough time to plan it to the extent that they want. So we will be doing that in future years. Um, we will be having the kayak contest on the lake. So what we're doing is we're having residents will have that on their invitation to bring a canoe or a kayak for their pleasure to launch at the boat launch and enjoy the river during the festivities. Um, we are waiting to hear on some donors for food. We're going to serve hot dogs and soda and chips and stuff like that, uh, provided we get it all donated. So it all depends on what people come through with for donations for us. And uh, tomorrow night's our final meeting, and we'll have those answers on that as well. Um, we're going to have different games uh, after we eat, um, games for the children to play, they'll be organized. Uh, we are, have a band that's playing, and I forgot the name of the band, and I apologize profusely. Uh, these are local uh, kids that are coming and they're donating their time to uh, have some music at the event, which is really cool. Um, looking forward to that. And then we're going to end up the day with storytelling. Some of the local residents who have been around and can um, tell about the Champlain Village, our history and whatnot. And Celine is going to try and have her uh, museum available for a quick tour at the end as well. Uh, and her books will be available for sale at uh, that day. So it's really very, you know, pro Champlain Village. Get the information out there about us and what we're about and uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of people there just kind of having some fun. So that is that event. Uh, we are coming on October so we will have a Halloween um, decorating contest again, outdoor decorating contest and we will be going around and judging that the week of October 15th through the 20th. So your house needs to be decorated uh, and lit up in the evening or whatever you want to do. I'll go both, uh, our group will go during the day and at night so we can see what it looks like both times. October 15th through the 20th will be the judging. Because um, we were going to meet, our meeting is the 16th. <coughs> so what, you know, actually I'm going to change that. Let's make it the 13th through the 15th so I can announce it at the meeting on the 16th so people can get out there and see it. And we'll also get it posted in the newspaper so people have time to go around and look at it because a lot of people like to see who the winners are. So, it's October 13th so we'll do 13th through, through the 15th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, mm -hmm. which is good because people are usually home for that. So we'll change that. 13th through 15th. Okay. Um, now, the dilemma I have for our annual Halloween costume party, which will be our third annual party, is I am not available ho Halloween weekend. So if I get help and I get it organized, are any of you available to run it for me that weekend? Otherwise, I have to run it two weeks ahead of Halloween. Put me on the spot here. <laughs> Okay. Well, no. So it's something about. So if we cannot get someone to cover for me, we will hold it Saturday the 14th. Um, if we can get people to cover it for me, we will hold it on Saturday the 28th. And I might be able to get someone within our organization, the Beautification Society, whatever you want to call us these days, um, to cover it for me as long as I get everything taken care of ahead of time. 
Okay? So that's that. Um, there is a Tony Hawk grant available out there right now. It's due at the end of September. So those who are hoping and praying for a uh, skateboard park, cross your fingers and uh, you know hopefully we'll qualify for that. But Joanne is writing the grant uh, for that as well. Um, September 18th, you guys had mentioned to me a while ago about Lake Placid. They're giving that uh, class on funding H2O and sewer projects. Did you still want me to go to that? Yeah, anybody that would uh, want to attend that, I would recommend it. I went last year. It was very good. Uh, it is worthwhile for anybody that would be available okay. uh, to go to that. I'm not going to be out of town that week, but well, I would be attending also. Monday. I've got it down, so I'll go if you, know, if you want me to go. Uh, and last, there was one of these flyers in our, our, our general mailbox uh, for how to supervise people. Um, and they had two areas that were highlighted, and it was find the delicate balance necessary to effectively supervise friends and former peers. Um, so I thought that might be interesting. I know you've been to a lot of supervising classes. I don't know if it would be worth the while, um, but it's $99 and it can never hurt. So one day seminar, I'm sure you all read it, and I just thought I'd bring it up because I thought it might be, um, from the personnel aspect, my job to bring that up. And... Let's see, what else? Tony Hawk Grant, decorating contest. And if you want to bring that up, maybe bring it up under your business. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, and also at the um, festivity thing we're having, whatever we're calling it, <laughs> sorry. Um, we're also going to do face painting. So if anybody's out there that is really good at it and wants to volunteer to do it, uh, please come along. I'll have the supplies. Otherwise, we'll just nab some uh, older kids and get them to do it. But we really want the whole community just to come on in and come together and uh, have kind of a fun day. And if you want to make a dish to bring, to add to your lunch, um, bring it along by all means. If you know you want to share it with people, some people are kind of funky about wanting to share food. I, I thought it was a normal thing, but some people seem kind of leery. So um, anyway, uh, it should be a really fun day. And uh, we're looking at getting a tent, so in case it is raining, at least we're undercover. Um, as well, so and we're looking for donations on all of it, so we're not going to be spending any money. It's just out there for everybody to have fun. And that's it for me. Are yeah, there any questions on Amy's report? Now we'll proceed with the report with our treasurer. Um, everybody has been copied with the revenue report for August. Questions? Okay, at this time I would entertain a motion to uh, pay the warrant. So yeah. moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Trustee Trombley? Aye. Trustee Martin? Aye. Trustee Southwick? Aye. Trustee Garrett? Aye. Mayor Moore, aye. Uh, we also have one uh, purchase requisition to deal with uh, for the new furnace. When would they be installing this? Does anybody know? Probably then a week or two after we approve it. I think we had put money aside in the budget for this, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The purchase order is actually for four to three hundred. Yeah, that's what it's really thought. Yeah. We have we, we put aside four thousand dollars to purchase a furnace and we have three hundred dollars in for furnace repairs. Okay, so Yeah. So the uh, purchase rec would be for forty three hundred then. That's correct. Okay. I'm going to entertain a motion to buy the new furnace. Or it's a boiler, actually. So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Do we have to get uh, three quotes? Mm. This is not a contract. We probably should. I received two quotes from suppliers. 
uh, ag weight and listen to come back in February of 2006 when we did our budget. And then I recalled Smith and Son and I called Agway. And Agway was 5400 and Smith and Son was 4740 And then he gave me a different price of 4300 even. Mm -hmm. So we have to call one more and get another price by legalities. We have to have three. According so, to our village code, yes. Right. So is it Griffin Oil the only other option or Vancourt? Do they do? There's several places in Glassburg that just are our premises. I, I yeah. you can check Suburban the propane. Oh, that's Agway. Suburban. That's Agway. Yeah. And you said you got a quote from them? Yeah, a verbal quote on the phone. Okay. We'll get something in writing. Got to have a writing, yeah. written one. So do you want to withdraw your motion and react on this next month? And the last, well, what are we up to? It'll be October. So be, we we may have a price increase before then, too. Prices have been going up steadily for the prices of copper and brass. Uh, can I make a motion that we accept uh, the lowest bid no more than $4,300 that we have currently for Smith & Sons, based on the three that we receive. I would almost suggest that you get four quotes on this, because yep. there are so many people who do install and sell premises, or boilers. So why don't we get two to more? make a motion that, that we get four lowest. quotes uh, on new boiler, and we accept the lowest one not to exceed 4300 I don't know. The only catch is we we need to compare, perhaps. I don't know if we just want to go strictly based on price. Maybe we should wait till the next meeting. We have time before we're going to meet heat in this about building. That, but, you know, a lot of times you get a quote, is you may maybe want to look it over carefully and make sure it includes everything that another quote would. You want to check the warranties on what you're buying. That's true. Yeah, so uh, I don't think we should, we should be too hasty it's with that. And and lowest service quote. is a big thing. Lowest yeah, quote is not necessarily the best quote. Exactly. So okay. we may want to study these quotes a little more carefully than just one with lowest price or I removed my motion. Will the one we have now still make heat? That's still okay. make heat. We got a lot of old tires in the back. <laughs> it's in the it has holes in it, and we may have problems with it. Mm -hmm. Just in, in case so we get it. Time's up along. We don't need heat yet. Okay, so I don't we, know. <laughs> well, okay, we're, we're going to table that until next month. Of course, uh, Okay. <laughs> okay, we have the report of the superintendent. The GSA water meter is in. Mm -hmm. spinning. Finally, and it works. And spinning. And spinning. <laughs> okay. Uh, the telemetry is going to be with it, hooked up at the tank within the next two weeks. Uh, Murray had an emergency; he couldn't send his man up today. Driveway aprons will be done between September 18th and 22nd, weather permitting. That includes the cut on Chestnut Street and the aprons on Maple. Uh, Trustee Southwick touched base on the. The plumbing project. To my understanding, nothing is to be accepted until it meets the standard from the planning board that was approved. Uh, the town is planning on replacing the water line on Perry's Mills Locust Street area. They're in the planning stages, waiting for their engineer plans and approvals from the Clinton County Health Department. And we we'll probably be assisting them in the installation of that line. Uh, we saved some money this month. Terry and the crew fabricated bushings for the ditching bucket from the old John Deere for the New Holland, saving about $900 to $1,000. And I talked to various, I've talked to the two local dealers for backhoes, and both of the sales reps recommend that we put our two oldest machines out to bid or for sale ourselves, we would probably get more money for them than they would offer us on a trade, meaning the old John Deere and the Bobcat with the various attachments. Okay. Are there any questions for the superintendent? Now we'll proceed with correspondence. Um, 
correspondence from Clinton County Health Department regarding the water sample, correspondence from the Department of State regarding the SNSI grant program, letter of thanks to the town of Altona for their help with Spruce Street, letter of thanks to the town of Champlain for their help with Spruce Street. Is there any correspondence from business that needs to be added to new business? I, I forgot to mention one thing in my report. Um, we're also, I don't know whether we can do this or not, but um, they would like to name the park. So we wanted to put a contest out there um, to have all the residents come up with a name for the park. And uh, we have two certificates that are being no donated to uh, give to the best name park. Um, is that something that we can do? And I'm sure we can get someone to make a sign for us, too, as a donation, I'm, I'm sure. Does that sound like fun? Right. Okay. So in our little invitation that we'll put, we will put a little entry form at the bottom for them if they want to mail it in, uh, what their suggestion is. Otherwise, we'll have a box right there as well uh, to accept that. And I also, whatever we decide on the Halloween costume party, we will um, put the date and time on the invitation that will be going around. And it will go out to all the schools as well, as usual, so they know. Mm -hmm. Where is the costume party? Oh, that's held at St. Mary's Gym. They donate the building for us, the property. And uh, just under correspondence, I know it's not really correspondence, but I just wanted to uh, speak on behalf of the entire board that we uh, wish Jack Favreau and his son John uh, all the best and uh, hope they get well soon and uh, tell him that we really miss him. Uh, as he was a, our judge for many years and we really appreciated all the service and uh, jokes he told every all the village residents. <laughs> we miss you, Jack. Okay, uh, old business. Uh, GSA meter manhole has been done. We can finally cross that one off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Time Warner cable franchise is still uh, pending. Uh, does anyone else have any uh, new business need to bring up? Uh, now we'll go to new business. Uh, I think we have a recommendation from uh, Trustee Southwick on uh, Scott Yell cold issue. And he spoke, spoke to uh, Steve and myself, uh, asking for more time. He, he wanted to do the re repairs to his property, but felt he needed a little more time to do that. Uh, you have a recommendation on that, Steve? Yes, I'd like to recommend that we give him an additional 60 days to comply. To make an informal motion. We have a second. Second. Is there any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Say nay. Uh, the ayes have it. Uh, now we also have uh, an issue that Mickey brought up here about some animal carcasses at uh, 1195 Route 9 in the village. Uh, does that, would anyone like to take some action on this to may perhaps have this cleaned up or hauled away and added to his taxes. Okay, we can, can we do that? The health department want to address this, Mickey? I've been through this in Rouse's Point. There was an apartment complex there, and there was a mountain of garbage. It stayed there all summer long with no one to touch it. Health department, DEC, or the sheriff's department. They all referred it back to village for local action for them to basically take care of it and, you know, attach it to the guy's taxes or the owner's taxes. Yeah, well, I think that would no. fall back on the municipality. I think we need to... Uh, Is he current on his taxes now? Well, let's, let's uh, get a motion and then we can oh. do our discussion. Uh, Steve suggested, and I, I guess that's that's a motion, right, that we give... Or no, oops, that's, <laughs> I was going to... Sorry. Uh, somebody have a motion that they'd like to make as how to deal with this situation? I make a motion that we hire an appropriate um, company to clean up the mess, get rid of the dead animals, and add that cost to his taxes. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, let's, any discussion? Yeah, is he current on his taxes now? I don't believe so. 
So are we willing to, you know, put that expense on us or should we you know, do the letter, the registered letter, and tack it up on this wall and then take him to court? But he's not answering. Well, I, I think we're into a health issue here. Yeah, I mean, even dead animals. Can I make a recommendation? I mean, I know you want to hire an outside contractor and you're going to go out to bid or look for someone. I think that the, the pile there could be picked up with a loader, put in a dump truck, and, and taken to the dump. A lot simpler than I mean, you, have you seen that, Woody, up there? I mean, it's up, it's up to you, but you start looking for contractors. Do it ourselves, type thing. Yeah, I mean, you can assess them whatever charges you want, but if we start looking for contractors, is the village going to pay the contractor? Then you're going to be out that money. I'm sure you're going to be out a lot more than if the village does it itself and just hauls us to the dump. What do you do with the it just goes with all the garbage. It would go up to uh, Scrabble Falls more than likely. I mean, there's, yeah, a dump truck. there's a dump truck load of dirt furniture and junk there that should be picked up. Well, would you like to amend your motion? Yes. Okay. Is there still a second for that, Greg? Um, yeah, but do we need another more? I would like to see I would like to see more from a legal standpoint done here. Mm -hmm. I would like to see the mailings and the and the uh, the appearance ticket issued and go to the judge and get whatever we need to do here. I mean, we're just if the, if the person's not going to pick up this, this stuff, uh, I think it needs to become a legal issue. I mean, we we pursued it in that avenue with other properties. I think we need to do it with this one. Answer your question. I guess yes. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, okay. Is, is there any other discussion? But that's or do we do we say. want want yeah. to we want to uh, withdraw that motion? Make a different motion? Is that where we're headed with this? Is that what we want to do? I don't want to. Well, you know how quickly or slowly the wheels of justice can roll. I right. hate to see yeah, more can, dead animals laying the there. To pick it up. I, I, I guess do we need to have it there for a court appearance ticket? Uh, may I interject something here? Please take please pictures. Go ahead, please. Take pictures of it. Log your time and add it to the court action. Yeah. Then you can add it to the tax rolls. Yeah, you can take it over. Okay. okay. <laughs> you want to you amend, amend your motion? It again? <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion that we take pictures of the said property, the pile of garbage, the dead animals. We have our crew remove it, take it to the dump, and proceed with legal action. Is it, you still uh, second that, Greg? Yes, most certainly. Is there any discussion on that? Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Mickey had suggested that we give Patterson 60 days to correct his roof issue. Um, would anyone like to make any motion? Make a motion that we that? give him an additional 60 days to repair the roof. Second. There's no repair. Is there any discussion? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, this time I'd like to make a, a motion to go into executive session briefly. Just so moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Can, can I ask just one question on this Scott Yell issue? Is the board going to send him a letter or do I send him a letter with the 60 days? I mean, somebody has to notify me. I just want to know, does it come from the board? Or? You, I think, yeah, I think it would probably be best the way we've handled all the others. So you want to send a letter? Okay. okay. Patterson as well. Yes. Okay. Meeting is in recess. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs>